my vlog welcome back to my channel we Austin and I are on a mission to get some supplies to make candles. We're gonna do like a little vlog. I love candles. Every single time I buy a candle, it gives me a headache and makes me sick. So I've been wanting to make a candle at home, just super clean, all nice ingredients. And so today we're gonna do that, make them cute, make them pretty, but we're starving. We just stopped at Best Buy to get me a new camera battery. Austin got some Pokemon cards. Are you happy about your cards? Yes. I think we're gonna get some sushi on Sautel. That's our favorite place to go hang out and get sushi. And Austin loves to get the little figures there, don't you? Figures. You like I to love, get the figures like, and his little boba. I like boba and figures. And we're, then we're gonna go get our candle supplies. Let's do it. right now which is our favorite street to buy little Japanese snacks and like little toys and stuff that we love and I just went to Tokyo lifestyle Japanese outlet and I just bought so much cute stuff okay, I'm gonna show you guys two of the things I got now and then the other things I want to like unbox when I get home so yeah I got these Hello Kitty socks I forget his name do you know what his name her name is no it's like that, you know that girl. Like Karomi? Is that her name? I don't know, but these are so cute. I was like looking at the socks, they only had short socks. I was like, if only they had tall socks. And then I found these. And I love Halloween, so I feel like these are just so adorable. And then I got these frog socks. And I also forget this guy's name. How adorable are these? And then, okay, I'm just gonna show you guys the other stuff because I'm too excited. I got I was looking for a camera bag because I'm always just carrying my camera around with my hand and I need something to keep it safe. So I got this little Cine roll bag from Hello Kitty, which I'll open it later because it has like a strap on it, like a long strap. It's kind of like a purse, but I figured I would use it for my camera. And then I got a Sunny Angels, which I've been wanting for so long. I see everyone unboxing them. And this is the animal collection. So basically you don't know what you're gonna get with Sunny Angels. It's a surprise box. So these are all the different things you could get. There's a frog, a rabbit, a panda, an elephant, a sloth, an owl, a white bear, a tiger, a koala, a Dalmatian, and a monkey. I really want the frog or the owl. I think that would be so cute. You guys, let's just unbox it. Why not? Can you open this? I'm gonna show you guys this one. <laughs> it's so cute. Okay, look at my new camera bag. It's adorable and it's like soft and then it has two compartments here and then another one in the front. Like, so adorable. Okay guys, so this is our Sunny Angels. I feel like I should be filming this for my Snapchat too. I'm unboxing my Sunny Angels. What do you think I'm gonna get? I didn't really look at Okay, those. I want the frog or I want the um, owl. What owl? Oh yeah. The owl. Yeah, the frog. Or the rabbit is really cute too. Yeah. What do you think? I like the frog or the owl. Okay. I'm so excited right now. A little bit of ASMR. <gasps> Did I get the bunny? I'm kind of feeling the ears. I got the sloth. Wait, he's really cute. He's so adorable. Aw. Look at its little, is this inappropriate? <laughs> it's so, it's really cute. Is that a little penis? <laughs> yes, it's a little baby. The sloth? That's so random. I know. But it's cute, right? It has little wings on the back. I want to get all of them now. They have one that's also cookie that I thought was so cute. A cookie guy? Yeah. You're unboxing. What is this? Jujutsu Kaisen. Jujutsu Kaisen. Keychain. This is also a surprise box. Oh, okay. 
yeah. Boom, boom. Unbox it. These are the guys that you can get. Cute. I'm hoping to get Gojo. Who is he? Is that the guy you wanted? No. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Austin didn't like his surprise box, so he's gonna go get another one. She's trying to get mad at me, but I'm doing it. Because anyway. I think he's crazy. <laughs> he's gonna go try to get Don't care. the keychain that he likes. Okay, round two unboxing. Did you get the same guy? I'm gonna punch my neck. Okay. Show him. He's cute with I like the blue yeah, I like keychain. Him. Yeah, he's chill. Hi, vlog. Today we are going to the Levi's Haas or house. I don't know how you say it. It's basically like the Levi offices, gifting suite where they have all of the new Levi's stuff, which I'm so excited about because I'm such a big fan of Levi's. A gifting suite is basically when a brand sends me gifting or PR, you just kind of get to go in person and pick out the things you like, which I am so excited about. It's also a house, which is cool. It's usually like an office. But I think they have a house. I don't know if it's their office or what really. I guess we're going to go see. But I think that concept is super cool. It's in West Hollywood. So we're going to go check that out. Before I go, I'm wearing this little top, my skirt, jean skirt, and some little loafers. But yeah, I'm really excited. We only just than a regular 501 okay um, but if you want something more fitted I can definitely bring some regular 501s this is the loose style and then this is a loose cargo and then this yeah, is the 551 Z that that's like a zipper fly and then a regular 501 we are in the Levi's dressing room this is what I'm trying on right now they gave us like a bunch of pants to try and I feel like these are really cool and baggy. I've been looking for like a cool baggy black pair of pants. And they also gave me this little shirt. So I'm very excited about this. You got no pants on? <laughs> In my other video of us at the flea market, you also have no pants. Austin just never has his pants on. But those are really cool. I'm gonna see if they can get these um, for me to try on. Let's see, do you like those? Yeah, those remind me of like ghost hunter pants. Yeah. <laughs> Today we are going to the Rose Bowl flea market which is in Pasadena and this flea market is like I think once a month every Sunday or like once every three months on a Sunday. I've never been. It's supposed to be the best flea market so I'm really excited to go and I'm looking. I'm not really looking for anything. I feel like I have so many clothes but I feel like I love always looking for a good vintage find so if i can find that i'll be very happy <laughs> and i'm also just curious to see you guys this is my cat molly if you haven't met her she is <gasps> she's being so cute are you posing for the camera she looks like a baby doesn't she look like a baby i've had her since i was four years old she turns 20 next year she turned 19 this year obviously but <laughs> she's so freaking cute and she's blind but she's my baby i've had her my whole life so i talk about her a lot on my instagram and like tiktok but i don't know if i've ever shown her on youtube before <laughs> this is what i'm wearing to the rose bowl with my new cinnamon bag i wore the blue dress because i feel like it was gonna match the little cinnamon bag and then i think i'm gonna wear my sambas i just got these and <laughs> They're very comfy and I like them. today I'm finally doing it I got all of the supplies I'm really excited so I wanted to show you guys the supplies that I got also tell you why I'm making candles it seems like super random I just love candles I love when my house smells good it makes it so cozy fall is coming up when I buy candles a lot of the time they put parfums they're not soy and they're very toxic they give me a headache I'm very triggered by strong smells and I just want clean air in my home nothing toxic 
So we're doing it all homemade. First thing I got is this soy wax. I want the candles to still smell really good, but you can still get the fragr fragrance without getting a headache. So I got sandalwood, sweet vanilla, tonka bean, and cashmere. I have literally no idea what tonka bean is. I got this all from Michael's. I can't remember if I said that, but I'm very excited to try these. And then I got a glass candy thermometer to measure the temperature of the wax, some wicks, some sticks, <laughs> some little sticky things to stick wick to the bottom of the jar, some color to make the candles pretty. I got yellow, red, and blue. Honestly, these colors are kind of sad. I wanted to get better colors, but this is all I had. And this is the best part. Okay, I wanted to get like fun candle jars and Michaels didn't have that many great options. They actually had like no candle jars. So I decided to go into the Halloween section. Wait for it. This is like a jar for candy. And I found this, actually Austin found this, but it says come in for a spell with a cat top. Like how, that's a horrible noise. How cute is this? It's, it's so perfect for fall. So I love this. And if I can actually make this successfully, Maybe I'll make some of these for my friends and family and I feel like they would appreciate the cuteness of this jar. This kind of reminds me of like the Sailor Moon cat. It's really cute. I also got this jar, which is Halloween themed. It says Cranium Poison. Put a nice size candle in there. And they did have this one actual candle jar with the wick in it. So this one I think will be super easy to make because you don't have to stick the wick. Those are all of the candle jars. Okay, next thing, oh, I forgot. This is for melting our wax. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is take our wick. I think you just put it on the wick sticker like this, and then you peel this little paper on the bottom like this. So we're gonna take this jar and stick it on the bottom in the middle. And there you go. And then you, I, I think like you cut this somewhere else in the process. So our water is still heating up. We're gonna heat our wax. I put about a little more than half the bag. I'm also gonna do that with this as well. our water just let it melt we are going to check it with our thermometer and when it's at 140 and guys like i said i have never done this so i'm just hoping for the best and i think we have to mix the wax too i'm gonna use my spooky season spatula i bought this at william sonoma and it's just so freaking cute i like that this water is not boiling this is perfect i'm thinking of doing sweet vanilla for my first candle. I'm also not sure how much fragrance you're supposed to put in. I saw some different things on different websites. So I'm gonna do, I think, like four drops. I'm trying to decide what color I should do. I feel like maybe red, because it's like Halloween. So this is a really important step. I just put these sticks to hold the wick in place because otherwise it will fall over. And when you're pouring the wax, you wanna make sure that your stick is stable. This is a really important step that we're doing. <laughs> But I'm sticking my thermometer into our wax. I also don't know how long you're supposed to stick the thermometer in here for. It says it's almost at 125. I, th I believe this is when we're supposed to put our color in and our fragrance. So I'm going to do red and I kind of don't want it to be like too deep of a red. So I'm just going to do four drops. One, two. Then I'm going to mix that in. Damn, this looks really red. <laughs> I might have made this too red. I wonder if you mix two colors and it could be purple. I have no idea. We're, you guys, we're, we're in this together. We're experimenting. I have no idea. And then I'm going to do vanilla scent. So we are going to do maybe four drops of vanilla. One, two, three, four, five. Why not? I'm going to mix this all together. This is like a potion, you guys. This is like fully science. Only just begun. Okay, guys, so these sticks were not sturdy enough, and I didn't have club spins, which a lot of people are using. I tried metal spoons, and that's what it worked. 
apart. So I just used two plastic spoons and now we have to let this sit for 30 Pretty good to me. I feel like this is so pretty in pink. I don't know. I thought it was more red, but I love it. And I think this one's gonna be like a lavender bluish purple. So we'll see them in 24 hours and test them out and cut the wig. 